Okay, welcome to Northern Ants. My name's Mark, and we are looking at my Western Harvester Ants. If you look real close, you can see some of the larvae chewing on pieces of seed. Plus, they I just gave them a bunch of fruit flies, which we'll see in a clip in a little bit here, right there, actually. <laughs> they stockpiled the, the fruit flies. I uh, got a couple really nice looking pupa sitting in the front there and a worker going by with the gra uh, dandelion seed. Yeah, that's quite the number of uh, fruit flies. If, you, if you're interested in knowing how I got that many fruit flies, check out the other video. I'll have the description up in the corner of uh, setting up a fruit fly culture. You can see that larva right in the front there chewing away on a piece of uh, seed or fruit fly can't really tell it's just uh, the seed and the fruit flies kind of look the same after they get chewed up <laughs> but each one of those larvae this is on top of the water tower in a this uh, this is the colony that's in a mini hearth uh, XL from Tar Hill ants and these are larvae are up on top of the water tower they tend to like to keep their larvae on top of the water tower because of the humidity and the pupa were actually where the fruit flies were at was over the the heating cable. This is the Afagascar Afagascar. I can I'm not really good at pronouncing the name. Uh, this is a colony that I pulled out of hibernation because while well, they weren't really hibernating, they had. Uh, pretty good sized larva in the colony even though I hadn't fed them for like a month so I brought them up and got them some fruit flies also and as you can see those larvae are looking pretty healthy and as we will see shortly here uh, there's a pretty nice group of eggs actually quite a few pretty nice groups of eggs I'm watching this is the same time as as I'm filming so we're anticipating things that I'm not sure exactly when they're coming here we go saw that tips of some of the eggs right there there's another smaller larva and a couple more eggs there a pretty little cluster of eggs haven't seen the queen for a while I know she's in there based on the amount of eggs and I did see her oh there we go do you see that here we'll, we'll do a little oh see that yeah, it's a little blur but because it was closer to the camera but that's a little group of eggs Thank you for coming and hanging out with me and watching the video. If you're interested in getting into ant keeping, I've got a lot of videos on my channel. Check out the playlist. I've been keeping ants for over 40 years now. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments and I'll see if I can't answer them. If you're thinking about getting into ant keeping, I'd be happy to help you uh, think about what you want to do to get started. I started at about five years old and I didn't really know that other people liked ants. Oh, the video's over, but I didn't I didn't really know if anybody else liked ants until uh, I got hit into the finding that there were people on the internet that I liked them. I had found uh, some YouTube videos and once I found Tar Heel Ants, I was able to get some colonies established and they've been living for well over a year now I used to keep my ants in like pickle jars and peanut butter jars so my ants always smelled like uh, peanut butter or they smelled like pickles um, I would always go out and take walks with my grandma and stuff when I was real young and take an ice cream pail and a, a little shovel and we would hit every ant hill getting colonies and stuff and I, I never really kept them very long I put them you know in the jar and watch them dig and things like that and then eventually let them go 
never kept them alive, but now that I've got uh, the Tar Heel Ants setups, I'm able to keep them alive and get these videos out to you. So, Well, thank you so much for watching this video. I do really appreciate it. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so, and hit the like on this video if you did like it. You have a great rest of your day, and I will talk to you in the comments. thank you so much for stopping by and watching one of my videos. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you know exactly when the next video comes out. I do offer a wide range of different kinds of videos, so check out the playlists and you might find something else that you like other than this kind of video you watched today. Thank you so much. Comment down below what you thought or just say hi. Have a great rest of your day.